What about these? What do you think of these? <laughs> Yay or nay? <laughs> Today we are at Value Village and the last time I came to this Value Village I didn't find a whole lot so hopefully there will be a little bit more hard goods here today and of course I have a 20% off coupon to help save a little bit of money because Value Village is a little bit higher priced than most thrift stores although this particular one has pretty reasonable prices on their hard goods they seem to be a little bit more focused on clothing and they have a smaller hard goods section, but the prices are a little bit better than the other Value Village we have here in the city. So let's go on in and see if we can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop or keep for my own collection. Some carnival glass divided dish. They want $19.99 for it. It's very, very heavy. It's a nice piece, but I'm not going to pay $19.99 for it. Here's an elephant mug. <laughs> $1.99. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if that is an older piece or not, but it's only a dollar ninety-nine, so it's kind of fun. Let's grab that. It's a fun bee mug made in China. Here's a pottery creamer and sugar set it's a cute little set i'm not sure what that is for looks like some type of coffee maker or tea maker Cute little cat. Cat dish. These are made in China. $3.99 for two bowls. Goodness. Here's a interesting little teapot. I've never heard of that. It's just one of the single teapots with the teacup. So, so bravo. $5.99 for the set. I'm going to put this in my cart and look it up. This is a really nice mid-century modern bowl. It would have had another bowl with it, a chip and dip set. And there's a lot of wear on this one, so I will leave it behind for that reason. I am now over in their candles and candle holders. Let's clear it out a little bit here. It's an interesting piece. It's got a crack on the bottom. I believe this is 
Horror Force. No, that's Dollarama. Wow, well that fooled me. These are Dollarama. I'm almost positive that I saw these listed online and they were listed as Aura Force. These are Shannon Crystal. Once sold in Winners. They look almost exactly the same as these ones that are Dollarama. Well, that's confusing. There's some more. What do these ones say? These are heavier. So these ones are a lot heavier than those other two. There's no marks on this that I can see unless it's under the sticker. What is inside the box? It's missing something. Is that maybe an incense burner? All right, well, I'm gonna turn around and check out the knickknacks now that there's nobody in the aisle here. It's a nice little terracotta wall decor. There's some markings on the bottom, but I can't make out what it is. $2.99. Don't see a whole lot of resale value in that little piece. doesn't have a very nice quality feel to it. There's a resin trivet. It's pretty discolored though. Very large art glass bowl. It's very, very heavy. And it is party light. These are interesting. Made in China. That sticker looks more new. A more recent sticker, I think. Very interesting though. Nice candle holders or vases. Here is a very large art glass vase. And it says made in China. It's actually a really nice piece, very well done. But it's got to weigh about 500 pounds. I do not have a clue what that says. It's in a different language. Interesting piece. This would have been a nice piece, but there's a bunch of chunks missing out of it. This has got a lot of age. I think, unless that's fake crazing. Might, no, I don't know. It looks like it's got quite a bit of age, $4.99. It's throwing me off that it's black inside, but maybe somebody repainted it. So 
some black metal bookends. They're kind of interesting. $12.99 for the pair, but they are from Winners. They have a Winners sticker on them. Here are some brass ducks. Feet are a little loose on that one. And this one as well. I don't know, $12 for the pair. I think that's a little bit much. These are pretty. Only $3.99 for four. $1.99 for two. They look like possibly Empoli glass, but I think they probably would have had a decanter with them. These are vintage. Very small though. I have sold small glasses like this. Um, I don't know if I want to pick up these little ones though. Well, maybe they're only $4. So I just put back the elephant mug. I decided to leave it behind. I don't know how old it is. And I just spotted this <laughs> butter bell or butter keeper. It's made in Taiwan. This is likely from the 1980s, maybe 90s. It's marble. Looks like it's in really nice condition, so I'm gonna pick that up for $4.99. I also put back the teapot here. This one, not a lot of resale value in that one, so I decided to leave it behind. Little sushi dishes. look like they have a lot of age look more modern I just found these on the end of an end cap they're $1.99 for two and I have a pair of these listed in my shop already so I think what I'm gonna do is take that listing down or add these to the listing and then I'll have a set of four I thought I would just check out the shoes and what about these what do you think of these <laughs> yay or nay <laughs> fuzzy sandals very interesting <laughs> there's some more so even though we're getting out of Afghan season warming up. I'm going to check out their blankets anyways. That's really pretty. Really soft. I love the color. But I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I have lots of blankets. I don't need that one. Here is a vintage blanket. Vintage Afghan. It's got a really fun retro color combination but I do see some repair there looks like it's been repaired in a few spots so we'll leave that one spotted this adorable pot holder and it's so super cute not really a fan of the other two pot holders, but that one is so adorable. Very kitschy. It's $1.99 for all three, so I'm gonna pick them up just for that one. And then I'll probably just re-donate these ones. Let's see what else they got over here. Oh, those are beaded. Beaded doilies. That's different. 
More beaded doilies. Those are pretty. Let's have a look down here and see. A sunflower tea towel. That's pretty. embroidered one. I just picked up a whole bunch of tablecloths and dresser scarves. So I don't want to really get a whole lot more unless it's something amazing like a pumpkin tea towel. Got some staining right there. I don't know, it might come out. It's kind of fun for Halloween. How much is it? A dollar ninety nine. Well, Halloween's quite a ways away. We'll take a quick look through the baggies here. Oh, there's some tomato salt and pepper shakers and a condiment dish made in Japan. $3.99 for the bag. They look like they're in nice condition. So we'll pick those up. Let's see if there's anything else in the bags. Some wood stump coasters. More wood stump coasters. <laughs> I guess those are a thing. There's a cute little owl. It's a bell. Super sweet. It's anthropomorphic. I don't see any chips or cracks on it. I think I'll pass on that one. He's cute, but I've got so many owl things in my shop and I don't seem to sell a whole lot of owl stuff, so, or bells. Rods. Those remind me of when I was a hairdresser and <laughs> did perms. I used those type for many, many years. All right, well, I don't see anything here in the bags. So I just picked this piece up off the shelf. They had just set it on the shelf and I grabbed it up off, off the shelf. And I tried looking it up to see if I could find anything, any information on it. There's no maker's mark or anything. The bottom kind of looks like it could have some age, but someone has put something on it. I don't know, it's really quite large. I don't know if it's modern or if it's vintage, but it's a very unique piece. It's $9.99. So, I don't know. I just don't want to grab it if it's something that, you know, was made you know, before the last 20 years. But I think I might do a little bit more research on it. I might be picking it up and I might be leaving it behind. I don't know. So my total in there was $14. I did decide to leave that very large gazelle statue behind. I couldn't find anything like it online. 
And the more I looked at it, the more I figured that it was probably a more modern piece. So for $9.99 and the size and the cost of shipping, I just weighed all the pros and cons and decided that it would be best to leave that one on the shelf. So, so that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.